Chairman Burgess, Ranking Member Slikowski, and the members of the, oops, I thought it was wild enough to begin with, and members of the committee for, your opportuni for the opportunity to testify this morning. Our nation is at the cusp of the next great leap in automotive technology, one of which will revolutionize how we get from place to place and how we protect ourselves and our children from deadly harm. The next great chapter represents the single greatest transformation since the advent of the assembly line. Vehicle to vehicles today are engineering marvels, but their capabilities are not being fully utilized. It's like using a smartphone in airplane mode. Amazing devices, but fulfilling only a fraction of their potential. So how do we fulfill the potential of cars coming onto the roads today? We need to ensure that every single new car designed for the U.S. market is equipped with radio technology known as Dedicated Short Range Communications, or DSRC, as you've heard here earlier. This will take our cars out of airplane mode and open the door to a constant stream of vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle and vehicle-to-infrastructure communications. That will save lives, reduce cost, improve traffic congestion, and eliminate tons of pollution. In doing so, we will usher in a new era of transportation safety, innovation, new business models, and applications. Why is Cisco involved in this transformation? We're a $47 billion company formed on the simple idea that computer systems should be able to talk to each other. Cisco not only builds equipment, solutions that route packets of data, but we provide data storage, cloud, wireless, security, and many other products and solutions that go into customers around the globe. Our business is focused on developing the internet of everything. That's the connection of people, process, data, and things. The internet, and the vast majority of which has never been connected before, including automobiles. The scope of this transformation is enormous. Cars, and eventually trucks and all vehicles, will be connected to each other and to the roadside communications network, via the radio through a complex communications network. This network needs interoperability, standards-based technology, as well as tested architectures for delivering a highly secure, mobile, and high availability solution. That's what Cisco does. We will layer on an advanced, secure IT network on the top of the physical network that consists of the vehicles and the roads. We will use a combination of DSRC and wired and wireless technologies. Surface transportation will become a connected system generating new data. And what that data can do will amaze you. Most importantly, data will have a dramatic impact on safety. Cars connected to each other will be able to help drivers avoid everything from a fender bender to a deadly crash. Cars will have the cap capability to warn motorists, to brake immediately, or even to take evasive action when accidents are imminent. This will save countless lives and trillions of dollars in property, value, property damage and lost productivity. Just as importantly, by sending crash data to first responders in real time, we can direct police, fire, and EMS personnel to the scene without delay. We can improve traffic flow through real-time traffic lights and ramp metering systems. American commuters already spend five days per year stuck in traffic. This is a congestion penalty we all pay. It costs Americans over $1,400 per year per household, and that amount is expected to rise to $3,000 per year by 2030. We can improve our ability to manage road maintenance and infrastructure systems by collecting and analyzing more specific data on the use of our roadways. But many of these benefits are today not available or exist at much reduced levels because most of the vehicles are not yet equipped with DSRC technology. At the moment, the private sector is poised to deploy DSRC, not just radios and cars, but the corresponding IP network that will connect our roadways in ways never before possible. Once vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communications are widely installed in cars and light trucks as a safety measure, the private sector and our public sector partners will respond swiftly to bring full sets of DSRC benefits to the American consumers. The potential of DSRC is not some far-off dream. It's within our grasp. This is the time for America to be leading, not to be left behind. Other nations, including Austria, the Netherlands, Canada, are adopting intelligent transportation systems, including DSRC. These technologies should be on American roads. The future of transportation and the safety of transportation is bright. We thank you for your attention to these important developments in road safety and look forward to NHTSA's future adoption of the final rule
for DSRC installation on vehicles. Thank you, and I'm happy to answer any questions.